Mrs. Bitterell by Eleanor Brown. You asked what I think of your new acquisition, and since we are now to be friends, I'll strive to the full to cement my position with honesty. Dear, it depends. It depends upon taste, which must not be disputed, for which of us does understand why some like their furnishings pallid and muted, their cookery wholesome but bland. There isn't a law that a face should have features, it's just that they generally do. God couldn't give colour to all of his creatures and only gave wit to a few. I'm sure she has qualities, much underrated, that compensate amply for this, along with a charm that is so understated it's easy for people to miss. And if there are some who choose clothing to flatter what beauties they think they possess, when what's underneath has no shape, does it matter if there is no shape to the dress? It's not that I think she is boring, precisely. That isn't the word I would use. I know there are men who like girls who talk nicely and always wear sensible shoes. It's not that I think she is vapid and silly. It's not that her voice makes me wince. But uh, chili con carne without any chili is only a plate full of mince.